Hello everyone. The Burning Legion has invaded Azeroth once again, and Druids, they're able to pick up four different artifacts to empower them in this war. The Claws of Ursuk are kept for the mightiest guardian Druids in the world. We're told to seek out Leia Stonepaw, who together with the Druids of the Claw, they consider Ursuk the Paragon, and they dedicate their lives to following in his example. Ursuk gave his life trying to defend Azeroth from the Legion during the War of the Ancients, but his spirit is still within the Emerald Dream, protecting the Claws. You're not one of my pack. What brings you to the den? We're told to collect water from the moonwell nearby, and then make a way to the broken stump of Vordrasil in Northrend. This world tree became corrupted when its roots dug too deep into the earth and touched Yuxeron's subterranean prison. The old god infused the tree with his foul energies, and once the Scenarian Circle realized what was going on, they knew that they had to bring the tree down. Unknown to the druids was that something dark had already taken root in the Emerald Dream. Yuxeron had used the trees planted as a doorway into this realm, a doorway through which even the other old gods could cross the video domain as well. Small seeds of corruption were spread throughout this realm, polluting the dreamways and marking the beginning of the Emerald Nightmare. Now the stump of Vordrasil was left behind and eventually claimed by the Furbolgs. As you might imagine, a leftover stump corrupted by an old god can only mean trouble. The Furbolgs worshipped Ursok as well and they tried to bring him back to Azeroth. They finally decided to regrow Vordrasil and use his magics to bring Ursok back. For the time, it did seem to work, but the old god's corruption transformed what came back to something unrecognizable. Nothing like the true Ursok, and during Wrath of the Lich King, we burned the little sapling, and we used its purified ashes to cleanse the corrupted spirits. Time has not been kind on the Furbogs living in Vordrasil, but we're not here for them, we're here to get our hands on the claws. When they sealed the claws away, magical wards were put in place to safeguard them, and only the power of a demigod can give us passage through the wards, one such as Urso, brother of Ursok. We're told to collect offerings from the bodies of dead Furbok Shaman, and with them collected, we're able to summon Ursul and ask for his blessing. Great Ursul, wise bear of the woods, this daughter of the wilds calls to you. Please accept these humble offerings and grant us an audience. What brings a follower of Cenarius to my lair? Three trials Ursul has for us to prove our strength, courage, and our ability to apply ourselves when it matters most. The history of the Brother Bears, that one goes back to the days when Titan Keeper Freya still roamed the land. Two inquisitive bear cubs roamed the area around the Grizzly Hills together. These brothers, named Ursak and Ursul, they had more curiosity than good sense, and they frequently found themselves trespassing in the domains of bigger predators. Danger did not discourage them, and they caught the attention of Keeper Freya, who recognized the potential and saw what they would become. When they matured, they grew stronger and bigger than any other bear in the Grizzly Hills, and they did not suffer from the ravages of aging. Ursok and Ursul became known as wild gods, and perhaps the most unusual gift the Keeper Freya gave to the two bears was the ability to speak. While well, she also saw the instincts of the wild gods mature over the years, and she noticed that some of them were natural guardians of their domain. For those creatures, she began to create unique weapons, items that would aid them in times of trouble, but these artifacts would only become as strong as the wielder made them. Their true potential could only be unlocked with practice, nurture, and self-improvement. Now, some wild gods, they did not understand what Freya had given them, and they neglected their weapons, but Ursak was not one of them. He obtained the new claws, fashioned out of a rare material called Titan Steel, and imbued with a small portion of the essence of Eonar, one of the titans that could grow in length and were nearly indestructible. He dedicated himself to mastering their power, training tirelessly. Every day, he traveled long distances and sparred with his brother, testing his strength. Over the years, he grew much stronger, while Ursul had also received a gift, a staff that eased the use of magic, and he soon mastered his own powers. Ursuk's titan steel claws became an extension of his body, and Ursul became an expert in manipulating the flows of magical essence. Together, they had become some of the most powerful wild gods in existence, and they would soon become known as Azeroth's staunchest defenders. When the War of the Ancients came around, even the wild gods of Azeroth were summoned to battle, and Ursuk and Ursul were right there on the front line. Ursok and I fought as a team. He would strike, and I would guard his side. Together, we were unstoppable. Tell me, is there anyone willing to fight at your side, Druid? I've seen what this hero can do. I will gladly help. Once, during the chaos of an ancient battle, my brother and I became separated. 
I failed to be at his side when he needed me most. For this trial, you must prove that you can protect those who entrust you with their lives. Show me that you can succeed where I once failed. This one will be your charge. Guard her, or she will quickly be overwhelmed. Many wild gods fell during the War of the Ancients. Ursul and Ursak, they did remain together, fighting back to back, using Freya's gifts to bring down waves of demonic enemies, but their strength did have limits. An unending tide of fell stalkers finally overwhelmed them, and they both died in battle. Their spirits traveled together to the Emerald Dream, where they stayed for millennia. Now Ursul's claws, they were all that remained of him in the physical world. When the fighting moved elsewhere, it was a young furbog who found the titan steel claws. He recognized whom they belonged to. He took them to his tribe, and after wrestling the claws from Ursok's Furbok followers, a band of druids took the claws to the Emerald Dream, they sought out Ursok's spirits, and they returned the claws to him for safekeeping. Ah, very good champion. The spirit of the bear truly dwells within you. So that's where we're heading, since Ursul deems us worthy, and he grants us his blessing. Now that we have Ursul's blessing, we can travel into the Emerald Dream and retrieve the claws. Come, let's not waste a single minute. Calm your mind. Let go, and your spirit will enter into the dream. I'll join you soon. We're past the wards, but what's going on here? Could the nightmare have spread to Ursok's lair? Let's get going. Foolish mortals. Soon, this place will belong to the master! The nightmare has indeed spread to Ursok's lair, and the mighty wild god is doing his best to defend his claws from the invaders. Vile beasts of the nightmare, you will never take my claws! Lord Ursok! Quickly, to his side! I thank you, druids. These abominations of nightmare are relentless. <sighs> They will stop at nothing to snatch the claws from my lair. Lord Ursok, the Burning Legion has returned. This hero is our best hope to drive back the Legion and the Nightmare. But we must have the claws if we are to succeed. We humbly request your aid. The power of your claws could defeat our enemies once and for all. Worthy you may be, but if you would wield my claws to defend this world, you must make haste to retrieve them. Even now, I sense more of the enemy approaching. After helping him out, Leia works on removing the final protection around the claws, while we keep them safe from more waves of enemies. These foes are weak, but fight in numbers. In life, I paid the price for underestimating my enemy. Never again. Creatures of the wild, heed my call. Come to our aid! I heard your call for aid, Great One! Are there any teeny little fuzzy animals in danger? Oh, oh my! The trees need our aid! Together, we hold the line as Leia does the thing, and finally, the ritual is complete. It is finished! The claws are ours! Hold, Guardian! I feel a chill deep in my spirit. Foolish bear! You've fallen for my trap! What is this sorcery? When I get free, I'll tear out your foul throat, Xavius! No, Ursok. When next you bear your fangs, it will be at my command. I will resist you to my last breath, usurper. Ah, I will never submit to one such as you. I am Lord of the Nightmare! I have been shaped by the powers of the old gods! Tremble before me! Ah! Ah! 
I must go attend to my prize. Malathar, I leave the claws to you. Use them to exterminate this yes, filth. Yes, Lord Xavius. I'll be happy to tear them apart in your name. Ah! The claws! They thirst for blood! Ursok has been taken by Xavius and Malafar holds the gloves. Despite the overwhelming powers granted to him, we're able to defeat Malafar and claim the claws of Ursok for ourselves. Yet the previous owner, Xavius and the Nightmare, they're still waiting for us. Leia can't rest knowing that Xavius has Lord Ursok. The very thought of it makes her shake with rage. She'll find out where they've taken him, even if she'll have to search every corner of Azeroth. Our paths will surely cross again, but we also have the Broken Isles and our own Order Hall campaign to go through. All of that is a tale for another time though. So for now, thank you very much for watching everyone. Subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time guys, see ya! I need to hug a bunny! Right now!